In this video, you're going to learn how to set up a live help site. It's quite simple to do. Just go into your cPanel and then roll down to Fantastico Deluxe. Then once you go in here, roll down to where it says Customer Relations and click on Crafty Syntax. Okay, if you want to donate, you can click the button here and you might want to do that after you install it if you find it useful. Now click New Installation. Okay, you, your domain name is here. If you're going to put it in a folder, you put the folder name here. So we'll put it in Live Help. Admin Access. This is your username and password. You read them in email here. We'll change that to be an email that you can access in case you lose your password. The language preference, and then just click install crafty syntax. Okay, so here's the URL to your where it will install. We click finish installation. And it's created a database for us and it's all ready to go. All we have to do is click on the link there and then put in our username. So admin password. First go to Settings and Preferences. In here, you can set your URLs for both HTTP and HTTP Secure. If you're using an SMTP for your mail handling, you do it here. Otherwise, you're just going to use a normal webmail. And we have a number of functions that you can enable on the all the way down here or leave disabled. So you just choose the way you want this to be set up. A little further down, you can change your color scheme and languages, the chat functions. And down here, you can put the IP addresses that you want ignored. The next thing we should do is set up our operators. Now we have admin, which is ourselves. If you have other staff that you want to help you with support issues, just create, create operator. Then you just put the information in here, username, password, email, whether to alert other visitors, sound alerts. And then down here, you can give them the access rights. And we don't have any departments set up yet, which we're going to do next, but then you can check what departments they're in charge of. So you could break down operators per department if you wanted. And then the greeting you can put here if you want to customize it. And then you can put a photo here if you want. The next thing we should do is departments. If you want to break down into departments, this is where you do it. If you had a department for each of your sites or something like that, you just create a new department and then fill out the information down here. So let's create one. Let's just create, say, a billing department. Then you click the boxes here to determine which functions you want for the tabs and when they're offline as well, which is the default. Okay, and then down here, these are the questions that the user will be asked before this, before the chat will actually start. This is what they have to key in. And you can change these just as you like here. And then we have the images down here that you can change. And you have some messages down here, the busy messages and so on. You can leave the text as it is or you can change them if you want. And then down here, these are the questions when you're offline and they're going to leave a message. This is what the questions are that you want them to fill in here.
And then you have, if you're going to allow smileys, the height of the frame, and your color schemes down at the bottom here. Okay, so let's create our department. Okay, so now we have our default and our billing. Now if we go back to operators, if we create an operator. Now we can pick the department that we want them to be able to have access to. We can click multiple departments or just assign them to one. Next we have data. This will just show you the transcripts in here. And then you can go across, you can look at the messages, the refers if you have this turned on, page visits, the pass and how they got to your site, keywords, and the users. And then you can clean it all up with this tab over here. Now if we go over to live help over on the left here, this is where you would see who's on your site and so on and you can also play games down here if you have it turned on while you're waiting for people and this is where your notifications will take place as well. Okay now to get the code on one of our sites so that people can click the live help tab we need to go to departments. Then just go over and generate the HTML for whichever department. Then you need to pick where the code is going, if it's related to this domain or if it's outside this domain. So let's say it's outside this domain if you're putting on a different domain than your help site's on. The format for the code, you can have JavaScript, HTML, or simple link. You probably want to use JavaScript if you can. Now, if you just wanted to monitor pages rather than have a live help link, you could set this to yes, and you'd be able to tell if people are on the pages, but they wouldn't have the invite for the live help. Whether the site uses frames or not, this will make it work within a frame page. And all you have to do is click Create. You also have some advanced options down here that you can set if you need to. We'll just click Create. Then all we have to do is take this code, copy it, and then we can paste it on any web page and then that live help link will show up. Okay, so I just created this simple test page here. I just put my page on it and then I pasted the crafty syntax code on. Now I'm going to open it just on my desktop here. And there is the live help picture right there and then if we click on that the live help box comes up and we can put our name in here and ask our question. If we click the contact tab we can just leave a message. Now if we go back to our admin to the live help area you'll see along the side here we're showing the visitor and it happens to be me anyway but then over here you can invite them and then you see their status up here. So that's it. That's how you set up a live help area on your site.